administration is ending the 1014 step up at death. So now if I die with $2 million, the trust will have to recognize a gain of 1.7 million, pay the capital gain tax rate on that 1.7 million before that can be distributed after the beneficiaries. So you can see that this is a complete sea change of basically transferring wealth down to the next generations. And I think this was very intentionally done because we are on the cusp in the next seven years of 65 million baby boomers retiring. And we know as people retire, they set up their estate plans, they set up their, their tax strategy. And uh, this is a way for this administration and the federal government to grab a lot more wealth from uh, the wealth transfer that is gonna go from the baby boomers through to Gen X and Gen Y and Gen Z. So we're in the middle of the largest wealth transfer that we've ever seen in the history of our country. And this administration is stepping up right in time to basically uh, take more of it away. This means we have to do some new types of planning and we have to deal with this. Um, what this administration also wanted to do was reduce the estate tax overall percentage. I think that they've given that up right now because they're already increasing capital gains tax rates. As we talked about on the last podcast, they're trying to like really put people in a corner by getting rid of the step up at death, which we just talked about, by increasing capital gains taxes across the board for everybody above 15%, but making them almost over 43% for people that are making a million dollars or more a year. And eventually we'll see the estate tax um, exemption, lifetime exemption come down, as well as the estate tax go up. I project that in the next 20 years, we'll be looking at a $2 million exemption per person maximum, $4 million if you're married. And I expect the estate tax itself will be in somewhere in the 60 to 70% range based on the taxing that we have from the retirement baby boom.